What's going on everyone? It's Johnny5 coming to you with a brand new video and today I wanted to talk about the Navy Hazmat Locker. This is going to be on a Navy ship. So this is where they keep all the hazardous material that you're going to be using for maintenance. The reason we have to keep it in a place is because we can't have this material out in the ship where, you know, it could either catch on fire, it can ruin something. And if it's in a safe spot, the hazardous material locker, then nothing's gonna really happen to it. That's where they keep it. Someone is in charge of this locker. It can either be deck department, it can be LS's, which on my ship, the LS's were in charge of the hazmat locker. They basically stood watch in there on certain times, whether you're underway or in port, you can go pick up hazardous material at certain times to then go into your maintenance with because you're gonna have to check this out every time you're doing maintenance and then you have to check it back in at, towards the end of the day. If you don't, you're not really supposed to keep this in your space, in your workplace because it's just, it's supposed to be checked back into the hazmat locker and they will keep track of that. They will make sure they get that back before they give you anything else. So you can get in trouble if you don't turn it back in just because you know things have happened in the past where huge fires have broken out on the ship, explosions, stuff like that, ruining the ship and putting people in danger from that. So that's why they have to keep that in the hazmat locker. You're gonna wanna be on good terms with the LS's or BM's, the people that are in charge of the hazmat locker on watch. You're gonna be able to basically get more time, be able to possibly check out stuff on off hours because they have the keys if they're feeling generous and then also check it back in when you're done with the hazmat if you need extra time. Definitely be on good terms with them, help them out so they can help you out. I believe the BMs can be in there if they're qualified. The BMs are like, they're always checking out. We always have to check out stuff for maintenance. And so if there is a BM down there, then you can kind of get the hook up in that way. Definitely be on good terms with them. Also something that coincides with that is the paint locker. The paint locker is completely owned by the BMs. And this is our space. This is a space owned by BMs because I mean, we use paint more than anyone. So we have to check it out. There's usually PO3, PO2 that is in charge of that. Again, certain times in the morning, most of the time uh, people will go down there, check out paint. We have access to that at all times. So that gives us the benefit because we're always using it. So it only makes sense. So get on good terms with BMs because we have paint. Everyone needs paint. You gotta keep up your uh, looks in your spaces. You have to make sure everything looks good, not just uh, correctly maintained, but that goes along with maintenance. It has to look good and it has to work. Be on good terms with basically everyone. Make sure you don't burn any bridges because it'll come back to you in one way or another and put you in a bad position if you have to try to get some uh, maintenance equipment from someone, hazardous material, paint, they may not check it out to you. So don't do anything, don't burn any bridges with anyone. Be uh, respectful, make sure you're doing what you gotta do and you should be good. But yeah guys, just thought I'd share that with you so you could get a more glimpse on kind of ship activity and that sense because maintenance is a big part Everyone's gonna have to do it. You're gonna have to do it and It starts with having the correct materials So thank you guys for watching this video. Please drop a like. Please drop a comment. Please subscribe if you are new All social media links are in the description. Feel free to follow me on there. It's been Johnny5 and I'll see you guys next time